Hey, what's up? What's going on? Daria Jackson Lagania here from willyanddaria.com where we help you to brand your your business on social media. What's up? What's going on? How is everybody? If you're jumping on, just let me know that um, you can hear me okay. Um, I'm checking right now just to see if everything is looking good before I get started. What's up, Florence? What's going on? Glad you can make it. Nice to see you. Yes, let me give you a wave. Um, let me know in the comments if you can hear me. I am checking here on my computer as we are chatting here. Um, how's it going? Oh, what's up? What's going on, Mom? I'll give you a wave. Wave back. Let me know if you're seeing me. What's up? What's going on? Hey, what's up, Tamiko? Glad you can make it. How are you? Nice to see you. What's up, Cedric? What's going on? What's up? What's up? What's up? Right now, I'm trying to see if um, everything is uh, working well. Let me know if you can hear me, because right now I can't tell if you can. What's up, Ian? Great to see you. Glad you came by. I'm about to get started in a couple of seconds. Um, for some reason, I cannot see any of my comments. Let me just do a little wave. Um, let me wave at Cedric. Um, let me wave at Tamiko. All right. Uh, let's see. I think I waved at everybody. So I'm just looking to see if I can, um, see the comments. For some reason I can. I guess I need my mouse. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the party started with whoever's here. I know, um, there's going to be a few people coming through, but, um, it's been a lot of, um, buzz talk about branding. And um, branding is really, really simple. And one thing that I notice is that people really just, you know, when they get started or if they've been in business for a while and they learn that they need to brand themselves, they really don't know how, especially when it comes to marketing online. So, you know, I know the question is, okay, where do I start, right? So, one of the, um, before I tell you where to start, I'm gonna tell you some of the mistakes that um, a lot of marketers make when they come online when it comes to branding. And you let me know if you made these mistakes because I'm gonna tell you I did myself. All right, so one of, the, one of the mistakes that people do is they run out and they get all these professional um, photos made. So they're spending money that they really don't need to spend at the moment. You know, when you're first getting started, in most cases, money is tight, right? So you really don't have the money to spend, but you're out there spending money that you don't have because you feel you need all these external things, you know, for your brand, right? So uh, they go out and they get professional, all these professional pictures done. They run out and get business cards and they run out and they're, or they're trying to figure out their, their um, pondering over a tagline or a slogan. Right? And, not, and I'm not saying that these things are important, but these things are not what you need to get started. So I hope that I'm, I'm very clear. I'm not saying that these things aren't necessary, but when you're getting started, that's not it. Those things that I just mentioned are not going to get you sales. Right? Hey, what's up, Jen? What's going on? All right? So it's very important that you must understand that who, who you're marketing to, who are you talking to, who do you want to attract? If you don't have that in place, then you're going to continuously struggle or you're going to be in the struggle. You know, think about McDonald's. Think about businesses that come up in your neighborhood. Think about the types of businesses that come in your neighborhood. What they did was they did a survey to see who is in your neighborhood and what do they like? I'm being distracted right now because for some reason my video is playing and I'm trying to stop it. Okay, there we go. Nope, it won't stop. <laughs> I'm trying to go back, there we go. All right, so 
think about um, the different businesses that pop up in your neighborhood. You know, like all businesses are not in all neighborhoods. You know, it all depends on the population. Think about the supermarket. It could be the same um, chain of supermarkets or stores, but they have different things because the population is different. You may have some neighborhoods that are po heavy populated with, um, hey, what's up, what's going on, AJ? Um, you may have some neighborhoods that are heavily populated with Caribbeans. You may have some neighborhoods that are ha ha um, heavily populated with Latinos. So, and then you have African Americans, Polish, and so on and so forth. So depending on the neighborhood will determine what kind of seasonings they will have for food, you know, what kind of cuisine they have in that neighborhood, because those are the people that are going to be buying. So they want to make sure that they cater to the people that are going to be shopping at their store. So it's the same thing with you. It's no different. And a lot of times when, if you're in network marketing or home business um, profession, that is not taught. So you must know who you're going to communicate with, who are you going to attract, who do you want to attract, and who do you want to make um, content for. And once you are um, sure of who you are talking to, then it will make it a whole lot easier because you'll get a lot more engagement and then you'll also get a lot more people to ask what it is that you're doing and want to learn more about what it is that you're doing. So I know when I first got started, my whole thing was I'm a market to everybody, right? I'm going to do inspiration. I'm going to just talk about, you know, um, owning a home-based business and all the things, all the different ways that you can make money. And you know what? I market, my market was out here, right? If you can see in the camera, um, my market was out here where it needed to be here. It needed to be more targeted because what happened was that since I was talking to everyone, I literally was talking to no one. Right. And it's, it's, it's an interesting oxymoron because you figure I'm going to talk to 20,000 people or reach out to 20,000 people through my, my marketing. And that's not so, so it has to be targeted to who you're talking to. And once you know who you're talking to, then you want to learn, this is going to be, so that's number one, you need to know who you're talking to. And then number two is you need to know what it is that they're looking for. What are their problems? Right. What are some of the things that they're struggling with? And so once you know that, then you go out and you find content and you give it to them. So that makes you more valuable, right? And that is your brand. Your brand is whatever it is that you are sharing with your audience, whatever it is that you're teaching. You know, if you're out there teaching, people are going to be attracted to you. They're going to come back for more. Right. So you have to go out there and learn the skill set necessary for your niche, for your for your audience. Right. It's OK if you don't know everything. There's so many places that you can go to get content. And then you then once you get your content, then you want to syndicate it. You want to syndicate it across all the platforms. Right. You can send, you can upload your video. Let's say you're doing a live video. Hey, what's up, Nadia? What's going on, girl? Let me give you a wave. Also, let me give AJ a wave as well. <laughs> Pretty woman back at you too, girl. Um, and let me give you a wave also. So once you have created your content, then you're not finished. You want to go and you want to syndicate it across as many social media platforms as possible. Right. So let's say you're doing a live like I'm doing now. So you want to download it and then upload it to YouTube. Right. So there's an audience right there that's waiting to hear what you have to say and learn from you. Right. Then f you can tweet it. Right. There's a, whole, a huge Twitter audience right there looking and waiting for someone to teach them, to help them. You have LinkedIn. You, there's Instagram. Right. There's there's Tumblr. I mean, there's just so many Pinterest. Right. And, and because you are syndicating it, your content to all across those platforms, that doesn't mean that you hang out on all of them. You can hang out on one. Let's say it's Facebook. That's your that's where you do all your prospecting. That's where you, you know, you um, 
you meet people, but you can have a presence on all the others. It's okay because if you try to um, mingle and meet and prospect on all of them, you go crazy because it's just too much. <laughs> so just pick one platform that you want to prospect and mingle and meet um, people each and every day, but you can have a presence on all of them. So I hope that I made myself clear. Now, after you have established an audience, after you've established a following and um, people are engaging in your on your content, your post and everything, then you can start looking at other ways to um, expand your brand, right? Then, you know, when you give out your cards, you know, you'll know how to network because you've already been doing it on social media, right? Um, you can also um, get a blog because what you can do is take this same video like, like what I'm doing now and you can download it, upload it to YouTube and then also put it on your blog, right? You also can do other types of posts. You only don't have to do videos. You can do what we call image quotes. Image quotes are loved by most people. <laughs> you know, I haven't found one person really that said, you know, I can't stand those image quotes, those inspirational quotes. Oh, ew, they make me feel good. Ah, you know, they love them and they come back for more. And if you have an image quote, in most cases, you have your blog on there, right? So then that's another way to get people to see what you're about. Now, within your content, it's a great opportunity for you to be vulnerable. It's a great opportunity for you to share your lifestyle. It's an awesome opportunity to share your story, right? And I'm not saying like a three hour story, you know, something real quick, one or two minutes, just sharing who you are and where you're coming, you know, uh, where you're coming from, what you're doing, you know? So in the beginning of my video, I was just talking about how I'm, you know, in renovation and I'm down here in the man cave, I'm in a different, location, you know, that kind of thing. And um, if you look at a few of my videos, you'll see that I've done that. I mean, another video I talked about how I've been gone for a while because I've been working behind the scenes, right? So you can share those things. They want to know that, you know, if you have a child that's graduating, a child that's, you, you're getting your daughter or your son ready for their prom. Those are exciting times. People want to know about that stuff. So it's not always about business, you know, share a little, give your audience a little sneak peek of inside of your life. Am I saying that, you know, you have to give out your social security number? Of course not. Right. <laughs> but you want to share a little bit about your life. If it's your anniversary, your husband's birthday, um, like me, I'm a teacher, right? So within a week, next week, it will be my last day of work. I'll have the summer off. I'll be able to, to, um, at least operate as if I'm a full time. I am a, a full time online marketer in the summer and it's all good, you know, and then I do it part time, 10 months out of the year. Right. So I could, I would be talking to other teachers and other teachers have been attracted to me because they they work a 10 month job like I do and then they do something on the side or some of them are looking for something on the side because I'm gonna tell you the teacher positions, the summer positions, they are um, dwindling. So people are looking, okay? So that's how you, you know, establish your brand. You know, it's you don't have to shell out all this money now, if what I said to you is overwhelming and you're not really sure how to go about it, don't worry, I got your back. I don't know if you heard of Brandon University. You can enroll in, brand, in the Brandon University. It will officially launch um, August 20th, 2018. But right now, it's in uh, what we call like a beta status. There's a lot of content that you can pick up right now. All you have to do is enroll for free and you will get access to uh, different types of content that can help you with your brand. Like you, you will learn Twitter, you'll learn, um, there's a, quite a few other courses that you can learn and pick up for free, right? So, and also if you're looking 
like I said, like there's some people that are actually looking for how they can make a few extra dollars um, on the side. If you upgrade to a platinum member, because right now you can just enroll and be a student for free, right? Check out all the courses that are back there and they're constantly being updated. All the webinars, you have access to the five, the, the last five webinars. So you can get all of that for free. So all you have to do is just in the comments say, give me the link and I'll send that over. You can enroll and get started with your courses right away. Right. And the courses are intense. Like I said, you'll get Twitter. There's going to be a LinkedIn course that you can um, have access to and a few other courses when it comes to branding that that will really help you with your business. But if you also well, I shouldn't say but also if you are looking to make a few extra dollars, you can upgrade to a platinum member for only forty seven dollars and um, you will have access to. The same information that I do, you'll have your link and you'll be able to promote it, right? And make a few extra dollars. Now, as this, that's what it is as of now, but um, come August the 20th and after it's going to go up to $77. So if, the, so if you are looking to make a few extra dollars, you also want to learn how to brand yourself into to get your business into overdrive, I highly recommend that you enroll in the Branding You in a University for free tonight, right? Just leave in the comments, send me the link, and I will get that over to you. And like I said, you'll, you'll, you will enjoy the courses. The courses have helped me, especially with my Twitter, I remember before I got started with the uh, Twitter course in there, the Twitter lead machine, I think I had maybe about 2,000 followers. And then after I took the course and followed it step by step, I got to like 20, 22,000, 20, yeah, it's about 20. At that time it was 22K, so now it's almost 30K. So um, the courses are amazing. And like I said, it's free. So. You know, I understand how it how it is when you're just getting started or you've been in business and you haven't really been um, making the money that you like. You haven't had the success that you're looking for. Uh, this is your ticket. This is your answer. Branding you university. So make sure that you um, put a comment below this video and I will send you a link. Make sure you put the comment says send me the link and I got you. And like we said, we got your back, right? We teach you how to build. We help you with your audience. We help you with connection. And you're definitely going to get the knowledge that you need to move your, your business forward. So I got to run right now. Make sure that you uh, leave a comment below this video. And I will send that over to you as soon as I see it in, um, in the comments. And so that you can get started as early as tonight and looking at the courses and looking at the uh, previous five, the five previous webinars that will teach you how to brand yourself and take your business to the next level. So with that said, I got to run, have an awesome evening, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.